What was the last change you made as a result of the pupil voice? The pupils were desperate for uh, an astroturf, so we made a big decision and we used to allow parents to park in our school uh, and we decided to move all the cars away from school and put a wonderful astroturf down on our playground and it's been fantastic. So the children have loved it, the parents have hated it, but the children are more important, so that's been great. What single thing defines the success of your school? Be kind, our most important school rule, written in stone above the doorway. Um, not just that it's our school rule, but I think it is carried out and lived by most of the school community most of the time. And that, to me, is the thing that I think is our big, biggest success. How do you guarantee your pupils' well-being? Well, it goes back to our school rule. I've talked about it a lot, but it's, it's that school rule of be kind. Um, not just saying it, but reminding everybody all the time that that's the most important thing and trying to make that the heart of our school culture. How do you define bullying and how do you deal with it? Bullying is defined in our anti-bullying policy as uh, any behaviour that uh, is deliberately hurtful to an individual, either physically or emotionally. So we deal with it by having a very clear policy, an anti-bullying policy. We deal with it with a school culture, which is based on kindness, uh, being, be kind, being our most important school rule. And we deal with it um, by, I hope, having a, a culture within the school where it's right to tell. So children, parents, uh, even teachers, if there's anything that is making anyone unhappy, we ought to bring, be able to bring it to the surface and address it. Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite and does this matter? No, they're not paying to join a social elite. They are paying for a broad education. We are offering a very broad education in art and ballet and drama and music and sport. And that's very expensive and that's what they're paying for. There is a danger that we could be becoming a social elite and I think we have to work very, very hard to make sure that that doesn't happen. And we're, trying, we're doing that through the Thomas' Schools Foundation uh, to provide bursaries for children to come to the school and also through living up to our responsibilities for working outside in the community as well and doing a lot of work with our local primary schools. How do you react to wealthy parents okay. offering donations to the development fund before their child, children have enrolled at, in the school? That's a very good question. I, uh, it happens about once a year and we have something called an anti-bribery and corruption policy. So what I do is I write them a very polite letter and I say thank you so much for offering but here is our anti-bribery policy and I'm not allowed to accept it. So I send it back. If they've actually sent it, I send it back. Um, and they usually are a little bit sort of miffed by that but, uh, but then they understand that it's not something we can accept.